different? Well, I think you, you've got to have a mindset when you play in this league and in um, a team like South Carolina before you even step on the floor. You have to have confidence about yourself to go in and, and, and win. And um, we had too, 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 too much indecision. Um, we didn't really start relaxing and playing, not till really the second half towards the end of the second quarter. But it's going to be very difficult to win any ball game when you're not putting points in, on the board and then you're allowing teams to just run the basketball back at you. And like I said to my team, I go, okay, we're not scoring, but let's get on. if we're not on the offensive glass and we're not back in transition, then where are we? And we were in that, that place of really nowhere. Um, and, and a lot of credit to South Carolina. We knew that their quickness on the perimeter is, um, is, is one of the best in the country. And so just really trying to get our foot speed and, and get our kids to match their foot speed. Well, when you're hanging out and, and down on the other end and they're able to go the other way, you're not catching them. Um, and, and they executed well with their transition game. I think you mentioned confidence. Do you think it was a confidence issue, the slow start in the first, first quarter? Well, I think it's a mentality that you have to have. Um, and it's got to be of confidence. It's got to be of a will um, to really dig deep and, and, and fight. Um, we challenged our, our team to cut into the lead um, in the third quarter. We, we left 10 points on the boards with layups and free throws. And I showed them that. I said, give yourself 10, those, make those layups and free throws. And now you're really in this ball game, even as poorly as we played in the first quarter. The, besides that first quarter, I think it was pretty even, maybe without one or two points. You know, what was the fight like of this team you know, after that first quarter? Well, I thought that Mitchell tried to do all that she could. And again, undersized post player that really just plays hard and and um, she does a lot of different things for us whether she's rotating over or just trying to be solid on the back of our matchup um, in the second half we played more aggressively I thought off the bounce especially Kayla Pointer um, I think she and Shanice Norton kind of found their rhythm a little bit where Shanice was coming off ball screens being aggressive and looking for um, her pull-up jumper um, so our execution was definitely better in the, um, in the second half than it was um, in the first quarter. Um, the, I think one stat that really stands out is the rebounding. You know, what, was it their height that was giving you all a lot of trouble or boxing out or crashing? What, what was it? Well, we missed a lot of we, – we didn't score the basketball. I mean, you know, we missed a lot of shots. Um, and we didn't clean up the offensive glass. Mitchell was the only one with four, and I think – Richard Harris had a couple, but the defensive boards, and you look at those two columns, um, they, we basically got out-rebounded 28 to 16 on the defensive boards. And so that's an area that, um, one, you know, we got to shoot the ball. We need to shoot the ball a lot better. We, but they also shot a lot of layups and had a lot of wide open looks, and they were knocking them down. and. They, did, they stuck to their game plan and came in here and executed their game plan and did it with 40 minutes of just continuous making. If we made mistakes defensively, they found the open player who knocked down shots for them. Um, on, the, on the defensive side of the basketball, we switched up and, and started playing um, more man-to-man. -man. And that's something that we don't play a lot, but we felt like we needed to change it up, and I thought we did some good things out of that. Yeah, Nikki, did they take um, Ayanna out of the game a little bit early because it looked like uh, Faustine had some opportunities and she didn't convert them? Well, they both had some opportunities in the paint. Um, and, and, you know, we, we've got to... We've got to move Mitchell around a little bit, and so we allow her to go to her face-up game and, and um, you know, in the... Last game, last few games, she's made some of those perimeter shots, and that's loosened things up for her off the dribble penetration. Um, Faustine, we've got to get her scoring the basketball. Um, she's, she's a presence in there and um, just transferring what she's worked on in practice and applying it to the game. That's where we got to get that 
that crossover, and I don't feel like that's happening yet. Yeah, she really struggled like throughout the game. It looked like you, you kind of benched her. What, is there anything else going on there? Uh, I mean, there's... well, Yasmin just came in, in and just was solid. She gave us some really good minutes. Um, you know, she came in, she got rebounds, um, she got some offensive rebounds, she scored the basketball, she um, got a.